hydrosphere hydrosphere the realms of water is called hydrosphere in greek hyde means water it comprises various sources of water and different types of water bodies like rivers lakes seas oceans etc some part of the water is found deep down under the earth among rocks hydrological cycle the water cycle has been working for billions of years and all the life on earth depends on it hydrological cycle is a circulation of water in different forms that is the liquid solid and the gaseous phases the hydrological cycle sometimes is expressed mathematically as rf is equal to ro plus et there are six stages of water cycle 1 evaporation 2 transportation 3 condensation 4 precipitation 5 runoff 6 groundwater evaporation water is transferred from the surface to the atmosphere through evaporation the process by which water changes from a liquid to a gas the sun's heat provides energy to evaporate water from the earth's surface land lakes rivers and oceans send up a steady stream of water vapor plants also lose water to the air through transpiration transportation the movement of water through the atmosphere specifically from over the ocean to overland in the form of clouds condensation the transported water vapor eventually condenses forming tiny droplets and clouds precipitation the primary mechanism for transporting water from the atmosphere to the surface of the earth is precipitation runoff most of the water which returns to land flows down hills as runoff some of it penetrates and charges groundwater while the rest as river flow returns to the oceans groundwater under special circumstances groundwater can even flow upper in artesian wells the flow of groundwater is much slower than runoff Hydrological cycle is not a simple circulation of water between ocean, atmosphere and the land.
water sources. 97.25% of water is saline ocean waters and only 2.75% is fresh water. The greatest portion of the fresh water is 68.7% is in the form of ice and permanent snow cover in the Antarctica and the Arctic and in the mountain regions. 29.9% exists as fresh ground waters and only 0.26% of the total amount of fresh water on the earth is concentrated in lakes, reservoirs and river system. Oceans Continents and oceans are the first order relief features of the earth. The huge water bodies are called oceans. The word sea is often used interchangeably with ocean but strictly speaking a sea is a body of saline water partly or fully enclosed by land. Millions of years ago oceans were combined together as single super ocean was known as Pantalasa. of the ocean. The ocean basins are in many ways similar to the land surface. These are submarine ridges, plateaus, canyons and terraces found within oceans. Ocean floor is divided into four parts, continental shelf, continental slope, deep sea plain or abyssal plain, oceanic deeps or trenches. Continental Shelf The continental shelf with depth up to 200 meters occupies about 7.6% of the ocean area. Siberian Shelf in the Arctic Ocean stretching to 1500 kilometers in width. Importance Fish wealth is more in this region. Rock petroleum, natural gas are found here. Building seaport is possible here. Continental Slope The continental slope is spread from 200 to 3000 meters depth with complex relief. Submarine canyons are absorbed in this region. These are formed by erosion process of glaciers and rivers. Deep sea plain or abyssal plain. Deep sea plains are gently sloping areas of the ocean basins. These are the flattest and smoothest regions of the world. The depths vary between 3000 to 6000 meters and covers about 76.2% of the ocean basin. Oceanic deeps or trenches. These are the large narrow trenches that plunge as great ocean deeps to a depth of 6000 meters. The deepest trenches are not located in the midst of oceans. They are found more close to the continents. That is why they are very significant in the study of plate movements. Marina, Pacific Ocean, 11,022. Naves, Atlantic Ocean, 10,475. Java, Indian Ocean, 7,450. Salinity of the ocean. Most of the salt in the oceans come from land. Over millions of years, rain, rivers and streams have washed over rocks containing the compound sodium chloride NaCl and carried into the sea. Some of the salt in the oceans come from 
under sea volcanoes and hydrothermal vents when water evaporates from the surface of the ocean the salt is left behind after millions of years the oceans have developed a noticeably salty water it is calculated as the amount of salt in grams dissolved in 1000 grams of sea water the average salinity of the oceans is 35% or about 35 parts of salt in 1000 parts of water all sea water contains large amounts of dissolved minerals matter of which sodium chloride or common salt alone constitutes 77.8% factors affecting salinity in surface layers of ocean evaporation and precipitation in coastal regions by the fresh water flow from rivers and in polar regions by the process of freezing and thawing of ice winds by transferring water to other areas the ocean currents isohaline a line joining of the points in the ocean having the same degree of salinity ocean temperature when compared to land the temperature in oceans does not show much variation for example the activeness of southwest monsoon in india is affected by il nino and la nino these are the effects caused by the changes of temperature in the pacific ocean the ocean temperature is influenced by latitudes wind ocean currents unequal distribution of land and change of seasons normally the temperature in the ocean varies from minus 2 degree centigrade to 29 degree centigrade vertical distribution of temperature as one goes deep inside the oceans the temperature decreases the fall in temperature is very steep for the first kilometer after that there is a steady decline up to a depth of 5 kilometers below that the temperature is steady at about 2 degrees centigrade ocean current the ocean current is the general movement of a mass of water in a fairly defined direction over great distance ocean currents may be classified based on temperature as cold currents and warm currents warm currents flow towards the poles cold currents flow towards the equator ocean currents are classified as stream current which flows speedily and drift current which flows slowly based on speed centrifugal forces the centrifugal force at the equator is greater than that at the poles because the great circles at the time of revolution coincide with the equator the variation of these forces make the equatorial water to move towards the poles effects of winds the stresses due to wind and the wind movement modifies the theoretical direction of currents due to the frictional gliding of winds water is dragged along the wind direction precipitation the equatorial areas receive the greatest rainfall hence the sea level is higher as a result water moves north and south from the equator solar energy 
heating by solar energy cause the water to expand this causes a very slight gradient and water tends to flow down the slope ocean as a resource human beings have depended on oceans for their food and livelihood from the ancient times oceans provided abundant food resources like fish and salt humans extract minerals like chlorine fluorine iodine from it ocean waves are used for generating power ocean floor is mined for oils and also provide with gems and pearls for centuries we have created our civilizations on its shores and traded across each other traveling over them today Ocean have also fallen victim to our exploitation. Many large fish like whales have been disappearing. Oceans have also become dumping ground for our plastic and other forms waste.